You may have heard the term Faraday cage, which is simply a name for an electrical protection system. Wikipedia has a good definition. A Faraday cage is an enclosure formed by a conductive material. Such an enclosure blocks external static and non-static electric fields by channeling electricity along and around, but not through the material. And so it isolates what's inside the cage from what's outside the cage. Tough block is a type of Faraday cage, but it's specifically designed with additional capabilities that will withstand an EMP level event. It not only protects against electrical energy, but also magnetic energy, which is required to protect against the lower EMP frequencies and also required by military standards. Not all Faraday cages are designed to do that. If you do a web search, you'll find all manner of do-it-yourself protection options. A few examples, an unplugged microwave, anti-static bags, aluminum foil, or even a galvanized trash can. This doesn't exhaust the list, but the question is, will any of these work? First, we need to understand what a protection system needs. A protection system must deal with a broad range of radio frequencies distributed during an EMP event. Second, the system must absorb or divert the intrinsic and very large energy level away from the equipment you're trying to protect. Third, it must provide shielding not only for the electric fields, but also the magnetic fields. The seal must support high surge currents flowing from the lid to the chassis. The system needs to be durable so that in normal use it doesn't cause a compromise in the enclosure itself. A protection enclosure must close repeatedly without degrading. And finally, there cannot be even small gaps in the seal, which would allow radio frequency energy to leak inside. If something can leak water, it can leak radio frequencies. The Tough Block's special design achieves each of these goals. All of the do-it-yourself examples we've listed do not achieve at least one of them. For example, a microwave does provide protection at a specific frequency at which the oven operates, but not over the broad range of frequencies that are present in an EMP. Next, anti-static bags provide a modest amount of attenuation of radio frequencies but cannot handle the energy levels present in an EMP. The bag might even deteriorate under the surge currents that would occur during an EMP. Third, an aluminum foil-based box can shield to some extent, but the durability is an issue. As we all know, aluminum foil rips easily. And the last option, a galvanized trash can, can shield very modestly, but it requires additional tape around it, and that seal is not reusable. So some shielding is possible with do-it-yourself solutions. And when taping an enclosure, modest amounts of shielding on the order of 50 dB can be achieved. But the military states that 80 dB is necessary, which is a thousand times that amount. Tough block has been tested at or above 120 dB. This is 10,000 times the effective shielding required by the military standard. You can see why many of the do-it-yourself options are not adequate protection against an EMP level event. You're taking something designed for one function and trying to apply it to another for which it was not designed. And it'll be difficult to test the reliability each time you open, close, and reseal it. The tough block has been designed to provide exceptional levels of shielding effectiveness, and you can rest assured it will provide reliable protection for years to come.